Hey, what's up guys, The Challenger here. Today we are going to be building the Central of New Jersey Blue Comet. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, we're gonna get the snow plow first. We're gonna start off with stone brick slab right here and then three stone brick stairs right here. And then we're going to get one blue concrete up one right here and then a regular piston in the middle of those. And then we're going to power that piston with a stone brick slab like that. And then these are the um, front wheels right here. The four, this is a Pacific type locomotive. So we have the four, six, two wheel arrangement. And um, yeah, we're gonna get the a lever right here just to power that piston, just so it'll stick out to make it look more like a coupler. And now we're gonna start with the smoke box. So we're gonna get some light gray concrete. Put it down right here, three wide, three tall. Just make a little circle like that. And then also three long. And then the smoke stack right there. And then up here, um, we have obviously the well-known oil thing. Uh, I don't really know what it is, but, and then on it, it has the blue comet. There we go. And then now we're gonna do the headlight. So for that, we're gonna get a stone slab and a redstone lamp. Put the, put the lamp right there, stone slab under it. And then we're just gonna put a trap door on top like that. And also for the number boards, we're gonna get some signs. Put it on the side, number 833, which is one of the engines that they ran on the Blue Comet. And then also we can put like a boilerplate right here. I don't, you don't really have to write anything on that just for decoration. Um, and yeah, and also we can put some marker lights there too. So get some redstone torches, put them on the top. Oh, that's, okay. Uh, yeah, and Let's go ahead and set it today, uh, just so we can see better. So now, uh, to finish off the snowplow, we're gonna put some stone brick stairs right here and right here. And then we're gonna get these cylinders right here. So to take your blue concrete, do two by two square right there in between the front wheels, like that. And also you can put some buttons on these wheels, like so. And then we're gonna extend the boiler. So we're gonna go 13 blocks right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, oh, 11, 12, 13. So 13 blocks long, that's how long the boiler is. And so you can do that again. It's just gonna have a big tube like this. And also we're gonna run some redstone in the middle of it so we can uh, switch off, switch on and off the headlight while you're in the cab. Let's get some redstone right there and we're probably gonna need a repeater because it's a pretty long boiler uh, yep so just run it through the middle and then repeater somewhere in the middle right there and then yep, continue it and then we can just go ahead and finish this off go ahead and cover it up like so All right, now we're gonna do the domes on top of the boiler. So I think uh, we got something, one, one of these is the sand dome. That, that might be the sand dome, I'm not sure. And then we got the bell right here and then another dome. Maybe there's like, well, I don't know. I don't know what's, I don't know what could be in there to be honest. Um, yeah, and then so for the whistle right here, we can put the whistle right there. And uh, this could, another, it's more, piping up here that could be like the dynamo or something and then I, don't know, I guess we put something else over here just to, just to make it look like there's a, a lot of stuff going on right there and then we got a little thingy little box thing right there uh, before the cab all right now we're gonna do the walkways on the boiler so we're gonna get uh, stone brick stairs and stone brick slabs put stairs right there and then run slabs down all the way. Oops. Let's see where it's going. Okay, 
right there, all the way to here, and then so you have four slabs right here on this level. So it goes, there's three levels of them. You can kind of see how that goes. Okay, now on this side, it's a bit different. Let me go ahead and check how it is. Um, okay, so you got it. So put one stair right here and then run slabs like that, three slabs. And then let's go ahead and check how many stone slabs here. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so six of them. I think we got six already, which would be pretty dope. Oh yeah, we got six. That's pretty cool. And then a third level up there. And now we're gonna put the drivers down. So obviously Pacific engine, we got three drivers on each side, like so. Like that. I'm really bad at placing blocks. And now we can put some, I guess you could call these like brake shoes or the brake pads, just the whole braking system, you know? So we're gonna put that in between the wheels. I guess we can put them right here. Do the same on the other side. So now we got brakes. And now uh, the side rods. Oh, I guess we're gonna have to delete that button right there. Um, pull it down uh, here and then you can like go one down. That'll make it look like they're, um, you know, not all on the same level. Cause obviously it's not just one rod in real life that goes down the whole thing. There you go, I'm gonna delete that button. All right, now we're gonna get some um, uh, oil pumps, I think, up here, and then a little tube thing, yep. And then you can go ahead and start working on the smoke box, or sorry, the fire box. Um, go and replace some of this with, uh oh, oh, there goes the redstone, it's okay. Um, we're gonna replace some of the blue with some gray just to make it look less like a blue blob. Even though like on the real thing, the firebox is blue. You can make it blue if you want to. I just thought it didn't look as good because you know, it was pretty, it looked really uniform and not, it was just, yeah, it looked kind of meh, you know? It's got that meh feeling about it, which is, uh, yeah, and you want, you want that, you want it to vibe, you know? You just want it to, to pop out. You want things to pop. You, you don't want the whole thing to be uniform or else it'll look really boring. Um, where's my, okay. Stone brick slab. Let's see what else we got here. And then two blue concrete like that. I think that's how it goes. Oh, wait, wait a second. We've messed up the, the walkway. It goes like that. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I just, I just built that like five minutes ago and I'm, you know, I'm just trying to, trying to get how it goes in my head. So now, so on the firebox on the outside, there's usually a bunch of rivets. So we can just put some buttons, kind of looks like rivets on the outside. Uh, yeah. And then there's uh, usually a handrail on the side of the boiler. When you're walking across, get some string. Got a little handrail right here. On the side of the boiler, just all the way down the boiler, a handrail. And then, now we're gonna work on the cab. So the cab is smaller than some of the other locomotives that I've built. So, uh, it goes like, three up, what am I doing? Yeah, like that. And then, so the cab is only three blocks long, like this, so you're gonna build a little square, three by three square with a hole in, in the middle for the window. And then you put these stairs to make it look less blocky, so it looks like a slope. And then go ahead and put your window in. Also, they have the number painted on the side here, 833. And also on the other side, number 833. And yep. 
Now we're gonna go put the floor in for the cab, get some dark oak. I think that I think it's pretty close to what the what the wood floors look like in uh, in the cabs. Um, and now we're gonna uh, put where the, all the controls are and uh, where the actual firebox opening is. So we can use like a I'm using a blast furnace. I think it looks like a looks like a firebox door kind of. Um, and now we're gonna get some more redstone. Go ahead and run it down. And then place a stone brick there and you place a lever there and we flip it. It should turn on the light. Yep, the light is on. And then uh, we're just gonna place some, make it look rounded like the end of the boiler is right there. You can put some random control lever things like that. I like to do that. Maybe that's the whistle cord or like something. Maybe there's like the bell cord or maybe that's a throttle. Anything. I don't really know. Um, and so now we're going to, we need to put the chairs, obviously. Um, like so. You don't really have to use stone bricks um, or stone stairs. They kind of don't look that good, but you know, it's just the chairs. Um, now, okay, yo, so we need to extend the floor one more out. And then now put stairs into the cab. And also this little trailing wheel right here we need to do. It goes right here. And button right there. Same on the other side. Put a button and then connect it to the to the boiler or to the smoke box here like so and then there's also like a little overhang or like a shade at the cab right here so to make it look like that there's an overhang there we're gonna put some blue carpet down so it'll match the uh, the color of the the concrete kind of matches kind of doesn't match but yeah you can see that overhang right there now we're going to work on the tender. So, I'm going to place the box here, and then it'll make it'll be easier if we just go ahead and lay the wheels out. So we have four wheels right here, and then skip four blocks, another four wheels, and then go ahead and surround that with the blue concrete. should be correct right yep that looks correct and then we're gonna go up three and then up four here and then carry this along and then up over here we're gonna have four blocks where it's just two tall or three tall on the tender right there do the same thing on the other side There's the, the main shape of the tender. Now we're gonna get smooth stone slab and then a stone brick wall. And we have like the, um, the axles, I guess, for these wheels. Yep, and then we can go ahead and fill this gap in with some uh, stone brick slabs. Like so. And also there's a little walkway on the end of the tender. Um, I know I'm going to put a piston right here, so I'm going to go ahead and break that block so we can power it. Actually, no. We'll just go ahead and leave that out. Put a piston right here. And stone slab, stone brick slabs. And then stone brick stairs like that and like that and can, there you go that looks better and now we're gonna do the tender light at the end redstone lamp the light usually doesn't point upwards so we're just gonna cover that up with some uh, carpet and then to power it we can go ahead and make a little wall here with some um, smooth stone slabs like so 
just make a little wall right there. We can kind of do like that. And then we're gonna run some redstone to the wall from the the uh, the light so that we can turn it on and off from inside the cab, just like the headlight. Uh, then just to grab some redstone all the way down the side and then straight to the light like that. And then if we put a lever right here, it should turn on. Yep, look at that redstone ingenuity. Uh, yeah, and so now we're gonna, actually, no, no, no. So in order to cover this off, we're gonna have to move the redstone one down. Hold on, we've, we've made a problem. We've discovered a problem here. Just have to go one down right here. And then do a little bit of this. See, the problem is if I, um, I wouldn't be able to cover it if I put the redstone on that level. See, so that block is powered and that'll power the light. Yep, so it's like that. And then now we can cover this up like this. Yep. And then um, obviously Tender has a water hatch at the uh, at the back. So you use some trap doors and you access the water hatch. And go ahead and cover this off. Now we're gonna place in the coal. It's your, uh, some blocks of coal and uh, just kind of randomly throw them in here just to make it look like it's uh look like it's full of coal just put some random coal blocks right there like that and then just put some right here just so you can, can't see the redstone in there and yep and now we're gonna put the um the uh, emblem for the uh jersey central logo we're just gonna make it out of gold so it's it's a, it's a circle on the um, on the actual train, but obviously can't do a circle. That's pretty close. You know, it's Minecraft. Can't do a circle. Um, and yeah, that's pretty close to being it. We're gonna put a, a ladder at the back of the um, tender, actually, like that. Just a two tall ladder. And yeah, that should be the whole thing completed. Um, I'm, gl I'm glad to be back making these videos. It was uh, pretty, pretty nostalgic, to be honest. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope um, all those people that were requesting me to build this engine were are happy that I finally made it after like a couple years of not building any trains. But you know, I just, I just felt like felt, felt like coming back. And uh, yeah, I hope you like this. But anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you're new. Probably not new. I don't, I don't think there's any <laughs> new viewers coming. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, I'll see you guys hopefully, hopefully soon in another video. Another build or another drone video. I'm not sure what I have planned for this channel. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light shine through?